Hello YouTube world, it's Keisha here and I'm actually coming to you because of the pandemic, the COVID-19 aka coronavirus. I'm actually coming because there's just so many panic panicking and stuff going on in this world and this virus has taken over the entire world. The entire world is under lockdown and I know a lot of people is very fearful right now at this moment but there is a God there is a God there is a protector there is someone that is here that is higher than high and he has this whole world in his hand in his palm of his hand he's the creator of this world he knew everything from the beginning to the end he knew this was going to happen so he's he will never as he had said before in his word and he's post personally said it to me before personally but i believe he had said it to me before that he will never leave us neither will he ever forsake us sometimes i honestly believe that a lot of people is already aware that it's the end times it's the end times and we have to prepare for his coming and there will be like war like war divers of war plagues and diseases that comes on this herd but we need to know how to protect ourselves we need to believe we need to trust god and uh, how i um, planning on protecting myself and planning on protecting my children is by keeping my hands clean washing my hands like anything that I once I go out I wipe I walk with my wipes because you know there's no more sanitizers in store so I walk with my this is disinfection um, disinfectant wipes or my wipes and I make sure that I wipe my hands. I have my anointed oil always in my car. This is my oil that I've been using before COVID-19 or Corona has arrived. So I have been using this ever since. I received this cup for my birthday last year from a member because we had a service that we used to do on Saturdays to like encourage women we used to encourage a lot of women and just testify how our week had gone and you know so we had started that and um someone had given me this cup on here they gave it to me for coffee but on here it does says the lord will guide you always you will satisfy your needs in a sun scorched land you will be like a well water that a well watered garden and this is Isaiah 58 11 and it says it's the yeah Isaiah 58 11 so ever since I got it I've never used it for coffee I use it for my anointed oil my extra virgin oil which I prayed for over and my mom prayed over and like I usually use it when I'm down when something is going on or always use it like if I'm going to work and I use it if I'm meeting with clients, I use it because you never know who you're, who you're meeting on the road. So I always try to have it in my car. I use it all at all times. When I'm going into an interview, I use it. This is like, this is the oil. It's an Elin oil, call it that. And I believe in it. I believe in it. I prayed over it. It is a form of contact between us, man, and God. So. This is why I use my oil and I feel protected. So I wash my hands and I make sure I use my oil and I say a prior each time I use this oil. So if you guys want to go ahead and do what I do, just believe. You have to believe that once you use it, you're protected. Once you use it, God will make a way out for you. If you're looking for a job, he will make that way. If you go in for an interview and you did not get that job, it's because he has something better in store for you. 
I have proven this. I've proven this where I've used my oils and I've never gotten the job. And my God, this is a form of contact. I tried to contact you using this oil, but it was never for me. And I got something more, 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 more than what it is. I got, I got jobs where I'm respected. So I know and you know, I'll always, you don't need to like, I see like ministers and whoever, Christians and whoever um, selling oil, like anointed oil and sent to use it. They're selling it for so much money. I buy my oil in the grocery store for like $3.99 and I prayed, prayed over it. I asked my mother to pray over it, she did too. And every time I use it, at whatever circumstances I am going through at that time that's what I pray why while I'm using it so guys trust me it will work so so the first thing I would like to share with you guys hey it's 11 11 it's the angel number so it's 11 o'clock it's 11 11 right now and it's in the night and everyone is asleep so that's why I'm basically whispering right now I just wanted to share some stuff and I like to do my things in private I don't like to like um, do my videos while everyone is up and running around and making noise so I wanted to share some words with you guys to comfort whoever that is panicking that is going through a lot so there is just so much great thing that's going on right now and I'm pretty sure you guys are already aware of it so right now I wanted to share Psalms. Okay guys, so I wanna share with you um, Psalms 91. And I'm just gonna read the words because I think this Psalm is something that we should probably practice ourselves to read every day, knowing that we're going through this and like people are court, um, people are like trying to stay away and you know, keep themselves safe for the next um, two weeks or so, 14 days they said. So I would like to share this this with you guys he that dwell in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty i will say to the lord he is my refuge and my fortress my god in him will i trust surely he shall deliver thee from the snares of the fowler of the noisome pestilence he shall cover thee with his feather and under his wing shall thou trust his truth shall be thy shield and butler thou shalt not be afraid for the for the terror by night nor for the arrow that fight by day nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness nor for the destruction that wasted at noonday a thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand but it shall not come nigh thee again that's verse seven a thousand shall fall at thy side so there's a lot of diseases and viruses and stuff that may fall at your side beside you people with those viruses may walk beside you and then and ten thousand thousand at thy right hand but it shall not come nigh you it shall not come near you it shall not take over you it shall not empower you it shall not it shall not devour you only with thine hush shall thou shall thou be old and see the rewards of the wicked because thou hast made the lord which is my refuge even the most i thy habitation there shall no even befall evil befall thee neither shall thy plague come near thy dwelling and again there shall no even there shall no evil befall thee neither shall any plague which is corona neither shall any plague come near thy dwelling nigh thy dwelling no plague shall become close to your home close to your family or anywhere that you dwell anywhere that you sleep in lord for he shall give his angel char charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hand, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and dragon shall thou trample on their feet. So anything that comes at you, we shall tread upon, we shall trample upon in the name of Jesus. We shall be and overcome we shall overcome we will become an overcomer 
as long as you believe and trust in God and ask him for your protection, he will walk with you, he will guide you, he will keep you safe. There's no need for us to run around trying to buy up all these toilet papers, buying all these groceries in the store, not thinking about the elderly and not thinking about those that are sick and you know more in need and we're healthier you know like we need to be considerate and because he has set his love upon me therefore will i deliver him i will set him on high because he had known my name he shall call upon me and i will answer him sorry he shall call upon me and i will answer him i will be with him in trouble that's the word of god he is me when I called upon him, he will answer me and he will be with me in times of trouble. He will deliver me and he will honor me. So that's what he's trying to say in um, verse 15. With long life will I satisfy him and shew him my salvation. Thank you, Jesus, and thank you for your word. So I wanted to share that with you guys. If you guys want to read it yourself, Psalm, Psalm, Psalms 91 and the full verse. And also there's something else. There's another Psalms that there's another scripture, a few other scriptures that I will share with you guys. When I said that people are like going crazy, I said that people are going crazy crazy at the grocery store just going crazy buying all these stuff we always said that like we always say that we don't have money we don't have money we're not making enough but yet when there is trouble we're able to find all this money and we're spending spending out of control we're fighting we're using weapon we're using anything we do we're doing anything by any means to keep ourselves safe but the bible also talk, talks about us loving our neighbors as how we love ourselves and our neighbors doesn't physically mean the person that lives beside us our neighbor is other people like like give don't go to the store there's like um say for example 10 toilet paper and you're taking all 10 like give it to someone else don't buy someone else share be kind even if say you purchase a pack of toilet paper and someone didn't have any you notice that they're like toilet papers you can have some of mine if they want to pay you some money you take it but if you, you don't want to accept it then you don't have to but just love your neighbor has a self because that's what God wants us to do. And also, I wanted to share with you, like I know that we're trying to, as I said, we're trying to protect ourselves. Yes. Yeah. So what I'm trying to say is sometimes we like for example how all everyone is just going crazy at the grocery store going crazy i've seen on the news where people are pulling out their guns to because someone take the last toilet paper or pull out a knife to stab like don't do that don't do that don't panic you know what if you get to know god for yourself then there's no need for panicking i go to the school grocery store i purchase what is there I, you know, as long as I know, ever since I came here, I've been asking God to make sure that my storage basket is always full. And I'm telling you, my storage basket, which is what I call my cabinets, my like groceries is done and you know, I have it. I have it when I purchased my home, little did I know how God was preparing me. Cause um, when I got the house, there was toilet paper, like probably I would say about um, 232 pack rolls of toilet papers. There is, there is, and soap like crazy. Like there is like um, a room that it has that they had with a lot like like washcloths for like cleaning like cleaning purposes like um disinfection um like all these stuff was packed in there for me when i walked in when i got my keys and I, so now I don't have to run around and get all these stuff, but it was already there and I believe God knew this was going on and you know, I never get to the store because I'm not a pusher and I'm not going to push anyone for sanitizer and getting all these disinfectant, disinfection, I don't know, whatever it's called, <laughs> disinfectant and um, I'm not going to get all these disinfectant 
and you know fighting anyone and arguing and cursing and everything so he knew that I am not that person so he already prepared he allowed those people to get all those stuff from me so I was prepared but anyways what I'm trying to say right now is that Philippian 4 and my Philippian 4 19 tells me that my God will supply all my needs according to his riches and glory. So there's no need for me to run to the grocery store panicking, wondering, like panicking, oh my gosh, I don't have this, I'm going to fight someone for it. There's no need to do that, people. No need to do that. God will supply all your needs according to his riches, riches and glory. He's not saying that he's only going to supply all my needs. He's supplying all your needs. And if you believe that, you will receive. And when I'm telling you this, is like sometimes people will go out there and purchase stuff. And God will put it in their heart that they need to share it with. And if that's the way that you're supposed to get it, then that's the way that you will get it. So trust God. No need to fight. No need to cuss. No need to argue. No need to panic no need to like run up your pressure because god is still in control we just need to let him control the situation instead of taking control of it ourselves he said that he will fight our ba battles like if you if there's something that you are unable to do i believe if there is something that i am able to do unable to do and i'm not in control of just leave it in God's hand and he will control it. He will fight your battle and he will make a way for you. Just trust him. <laughs> a song that I really love and it's a Jamaican song. I don't know if I should sing it to you guys because I really don't know how to sing. It says that it's called Imam Daddy Yo. It's called Imam Daddy Yo. He is your protector. He's your guidance. He's your supplier in your daddy and once he's your daddy he must go see you through so no make all of this rumpus and columbus things get to your head just know that god is still in control and as long as he's he's controlled as long as he's your father as long as he my your daddy he must go protect you so don't need like i am honestly not going out to be around people and to be in large crowd or anything i am following protocols and what the doctors and you know the government are saying i am being very safe but i trust god that i will not be getting this virus my children will not be getting this virus my family will not be getting this virus and i am not gonna call it upon myself and i rebuke this virus in the mighty name of jesus it shall not come close to my dwelling and it shall not come anywhere nigh or near me my children my families and any of my friends they are covered and that's include you because you are a part of my family so i hope you guys feel encouraged just don't panic just keep yourself safe and god will do the rest just leave all of this into his hand and he will do the rest he will see you through he will protect you he's a he's a protector and if you don't believe me, wax him for, him for yourself. So thank you guys for um, listening to me. And I hope you guys have a safe day. And like, I'm not only going to say a safe day, a safe week, a safe month. And just be safe, just be safe, just be safe. And just in all that you do, just remember God is in control wash your hands wash wash your hands sanitize your hands if you have to but i believe in washing your hands and remember and remember not to forget your extra virgin well to be prayed over and ask god for his divine protection so i will see you guys in my next video